Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, so uh, in this video over here, I'm gonna show you how you restore your aluminum seat post to look like brand new. And I'm gonna guide you through the steps how to do it. Oh, by the way, before I go any further, uh, if you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here and comment how you like my project. And this will go the long way. And at the same time, I'm gonna show you now what kind of tools you guys gonna need in order to complete this. And it's gonna be pretty easy. And um, before you do anything, make sure you put some gloves on. The residue that comes off the seat post can get pretty nasty. So here you go, you got the gloves. Uh, I'm using the uh, 500 grit uh, sandpaper with a little bit of microfiber towel. And there are two things that you're gonna need. Uh, my sprayer to keep it lubricated and you're gonna need some metal polish. However, in this case, I have some uh, compound <laughs> that I'm gonna use and I actually used it and it came out quite nice. So I keep saying that I, I keep doing these projects on, on aluminum and steel and I definitely need to invest into some metal polish to get this post to really pop up. So let me show you what you're gonna be doing here. Uh, by the way, before I go any further here, I, I've tackled this project and I've done, uh, and I worked on it about five to 10 minutes. And as you can see here, it came out quite nice. And I was debating, should I do the video or not? And I have had it finished, but I'm still gonna show you how you can get this thing done. And let's get into it right now. So look over here, I've got some uh, sandpaper and look what I'm doing here. You wanna dab it into the water. See, so, so what I have here, so I can explain, there's some soapy water here. Uh, and this soapy water here that I put on the, uh, on the sandpaper, what you wanna be doing, you wanna, you wanna rub it in into the seat post to get the uh, oxidation out. So let me tell you what I'm talking about here. Uh, the aluminum doesn't rust. However, it will create that nasty that you see here on top here, oxidized kind of uh, black, dark uh, finish. And what are you gonna be doing? You, you just gotta take this uh, sand, wet, make sure you, sand, you, you, you wet it. You, you damp it in, a, in, a, in a soapy water and you're gonna be just going like this. By the way, before I go any further, I, just, I, should, know, I should let you know that you should get this thing off. You should remove it. It will be much easier. However, I have already finished this, unfortunately, and it's pretty, it's pretty done up, it's pretty clean. However, if you uh, remove this bolt here, uh, get the seat post off, it will allow you much, much easier to do this work. And this is what's gonna happen here. So you're gonna rub it in. Now in this case here particularly, I'm not getting a lot of uh, uh, oxidation to come off. It's just a bit here, see? I don't know if you can see the line, just a bit. But the reality is, the, the more you work it in, the more you work it in, the better results you're gonna get. So now once you have I'll tackle that a bit. I'm gonna spray here on it. And what I will do, you're gonna come back here and guess what? You're gonna clean it. And this is why you're gonna, I'm gonna just tell you why you're cleaning it. You wanna be able to check your work. That's the, the bottom line. And once you have it uh, uh, sanded enough that you're happy with it and clean it like this, then it's the time to apply some uh, like a drop, I would just go with a drop of uh, a polish. See, I have some polish here that... Now, I would, again, I will include the link in the description for all the materials that you're gonna be using. But just a drop, so just a drop of uh, this polish will go the long way. And this is what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna come here, see? You see how I... See, it looks all legit, and see? You're just gonna work it in. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if this is gonna work with this camera, but I'm gonna try to zoom in and see what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus on camera, but uh, it's a very smooth and supple finish. But you guys that have really oxidized the seed posts, as soon as you start rubbing with the, uh, with the sandy paper, with the sandpaper, you will get a lot of oxidation here that will, that will come right off. In this case, I have it pretty much done up and um, a lot of it won't come off. But the truth is, 
once you have it sanded enough, once you have applied enough polish, you will get the results like I have here. And that's pretty much that. I hope you found this useful. I'm gonna include all the link, all the tools that you need in the description, so you can get you can tackle this on yourself. This will take you about 10-15 minutes to get the results like this, depending on how oxidized is your uh, seed post. And that's pretty much that. Again, like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Take care.